<laughs> What's up, folks? I got the day off today. So, we are going to bust out this chicken coop, get it done, and that's the plan. So, I'm going to start building some trusses. Hopefully, it goes nice and smoothly, and hopefully, they just all turn out perfect. We'll see what happens. ever uh, built a building on your own before? I have not built a building on my own. Ultimately you need a good foundation, nice level, build off that. We do not have that. It's a chicken coop, okay? It's not like we're building the full on 16 by 12 chicken coop. Mansion, <laughs> 8 feet tall, with a peaked roof. Oh wait, yeah we are! He never includes, I d that is big, huh? Yeah, it's stuck on there. He never includes that it's also going to be partial sh uh, garden shed. He always just says it's like only chicken coop, but it's not just a chicken coop. It's a chicken mansion. We can call it a chicken Actually, if chicken any of house. you guys need someone place to rent, it's going to be a little condo is what a guy told me at the <laughs> lumber yard. So yes, it is a really large chicken coop, but I didn't want multiple outbuildings. And so we're going to do a two for one special. I'm ready to build some trusses. So the siding is mostly done and it's helping the actual building be way more structural. So Jared is getting on with the trusses. Trusses. How's it going so far? Uh, I only built one and I used that as a pattern. So hopefully we'll see how the rest of them go because I just went and cut them all. So hopefully it was a good pattern. And then I just lay them out in here, put them all together and then I'll carry them down because a nice flat work surface is key. All right, so they just came and delivered our trusses that we had specially made for uh, the chicken coop. So they look pretty good, right? Specially made, I'd hope so, for how much money we paid for them. Okay, now I, I actually built all these. How do you like them? It took a while. The new thing is using all these on all the sides and on every seam. The issue is I did not want to spend that much money because these are like... 88 cents or dollar a piece or something and so if I would have done this for everyone have been two four six eight eight dollars per truss uh, Not including the wood just on the little metal thing. So So I just used two on these corners and then I pre-drilled at the angle and threw some screws in there so it took a lot longer than it probably would have but they're my first trusses, so. So there's so many different ways you can build them. Um, I built them this way. Why? <laughs> Just because. What do you think it looks like? Not too bad? Looks like a little house. I know, it is. <laughs> How did you get that up by yourself? You wanna show us? Watch out, Zombie, coming through. All right, so going down. I don't know why she doesn't trust me. <laughs> you need to move. He's what, dropped boards on my head before. Toby. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Wow. It's like that, huh? Ta da. This is straight peak method. The straight peak string method. How about that? Time to put the straps up for the tin roof. All right, I got the trusses all built and some cross beams put up so that uh, it's all ready for metal roofing. So I'll show you what it looks like. I already threw a couple pieces of metal roofing up, but haven't screwed it down or nothing. But let's see if I can give you a good angle. All ready to throw up some metal roofing. Oh, 
Look at that hunk of a man. It is now time for flashing and roofing. All right, we're on a time crunch. Carter Lee is still sleeping and the sun's starting to go down and it's gonna go down fast. So we're gonna see if we can't get all of these tin panels up. Thank you're a ninja. 